Hey, this is Marcus on Discipleship. Devil's Demand to the Lord. Luke chapter 22 verse 31 reads that Satan asked the Lord to sift all the disciples like wheat. Jesus permitted the devil to do so. Nevertheless, the Lord told the disciples that he had prayed for them. The ESV reads it as demanded instead of asked. Look at the audacity of the devil demanding Jesus to distort his people. Believers are no less. They demand like the devil does. They are the ones who can cause a lot of confusion within the body of Christ. They cannot stand another person for reasons unknown or sometimes because of jealous, unforgiving attitude or even vengeance. They demand power and authority and want to lord over the others. They get into a destructive mode if their position is under threat. They cannot stand change in the body of Christ in whatever perspectives it is related to. They cannot but be self-centered about everything. The heart of God is not in them. As believers, they prefer to do those that please them and the kingdom mindset is absent for them. The disciples of Jesus, when they were believers, had a similar problem. They wanted to know who was greatest among them. Jesus had to reprimand them for such a thought. However, when they graduated to be a disciple after Jesus ascended to heaven, none of them ever had the idea of who was great. They knew it was Jesus who was great and that they should be servants of all. The believers in church have the same power struggle. They want to prove themselves the greatest. If there are disciples of Jesus in the congregation, they do not do that. Therefore, if someone remains just as believer for a long time, you can only expect them to be destructive. Nevertheless, the Lord's desire for us is to become disciples. The question for us is, are we demanding? Are we trying to prove ourselves as greatest? Do we have the kingdom mindset? Are we thinking about ourselves and our comfort all the time? Let us allow the Lord to search us and examine our ways. Be a disciple and make disciples. God bless you.